Okay, so first of all, before we start this video, I'm super sorry for not uploading in a month. It's just because I've been really busy with all this homework and stuff. And, um, yeah, so today I'll be showing you how to make this bracelet. This bracelet is called the Catherine Bray Bracelet, designed by me. And, well, tutorial by me now. So, um, this bracelet, I was actually trying to make the charity braid by... Daily takes on vlogging on Instagram because she deleted her main, which was <laughs> daily.loomer, unfortunately. So I was trying to make her charity braid, but I did it real, there's like one difference and that's it. And that makes this beautiful pattern. And here I have another one. This one does not look as nice, but it's still pretty nice. And anyways, let's get started with the bracelet. So for this bracelet, you will need a loom, so I'll be using a rainbow loom. You can use any type of loom because it takes two pin bars. You will need a hook. Today I'll be using a rainbow loom pink metal tipped hook. One C-clip. And you can use as many colors as you'd like for the bracelet. So today I'll be using the, um, I don't even know what this is called. It's one of the, two of the solar colored bands, I think. This one is Venus, and this one's Uranus. I don't know. But, um, anyways, let's get started with the bracelet. So, you're going to have your loom like this with the red arrow going away from you, which you cannot see right now because um, I have a bunch of different looms. But, anyways, so what you're first going to do is you're just going to place a zigzag pattern just like so. And it's really easy, so, um, yeah. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I get to the top of my loom. And, um, yeah, so, I'm almost done. Well, that's not even close, but I'm going to show you all the way up the loom without, like, going off camera or anything, because I feel like you guys should understand, because... <laughs> If it were me trying to make this bracelet, I would probably have no idea. The instructions were not clear. But, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, one of the bands was just stuck. Sorry if I keep doing this. And I'm really sorry about that because it's very close, like the cameras. My iPod, uh, my, oh my gosh, my loom's here. And my iPod is right here. Yeah, and it's very close, so sometimes it's hard to um, put the bands on. So, sorry about that. And if you're wondering why I haven't been filming, is because I've been getting a lot of homework and tests and stuff like that. So, yeah, and I'm really sorry. So, I promise to make at least one video a week because um, you guys deserve more tutorials because I have Instagram and you I'm more I'm much more active on Instagram because I make like I post one picture a day or like two or something like that like I post two rainbow and pictures and like an Aerosmith picture or something like that and I'm actually almost to the top of my loom and sorry if I keep talking so I'm almost done And here I am at the top of my loom, and you're not, oh, sorry if I did that, and you're not going to place it like this, instead you're going to place it like this. So your loom should look like this, like a zigzag, and now you're going to flip it around, place a cap band, and before you do anything, you're going to grab your hook, which I cannot find. I probably knocked it somewhere. <laughs> I don't even know where I put it. Okay. Oh, it, yeah, it's right here. Okay, wow, well, it was right next to me. But what you're going to do is you're going to do this. And the difference between the charity braid and this bracelet is that you don't go, you don't use this band. Instead, you go, you go under, like you go underneath this one and you grab this one. You twist it. Then you're going to do that again. So you're going to grab this band right here and twist it like this. So, whoop. so 
sorry if I said that at home. But, so I'm going to just do that. And, um, yeah. So it's not very hard, and like that. So you're just gonna keep doing that. Like this. Oh, I'm trying to get it, but it's not like. Dang it. Okay, there we go. Now you're gonna grab this band. Oh, you see the white again? Okay. And now you're gonna grab this band right here, and then you're just gonna do it like that. So now I'm just gonna go off camera to finish this, and I will be right back. Okay, so I know I'm not done, but to be more clear, you should push back this, this band on the top, grab this band, and then twist it like that. Like, twist it so it makes like a twisty triangle. So that's what you're going to do all the way up the loom, so I'll be right back. Okay, so when you're done doing that, your loom should look like this. And you're not going to do anything with this band, so yeah. Now you're going to push back the cap band, you're going to grab this band, just hook it forward, like that. Now you're going to push back this band, grab this band, and then hook it forward. And, um, yeah, so I'm trying to hook it, there we go. Now you're going to push back all the bands, which I will show you on the side, perspective, and I will... Focus on that. There we go. Push back these three, or yeah, these three bands. The two pink and then this green, and then grab this band and then just hook it forward. Oh, sorry if you heard that, that's just my mom's phone. So, you're just gonna keep doing that all the way up the loom, and it's really easy. So I will just keep doing that all the way up. Hopefully you get it. So I will show you one more time. So you're going to push back the three bands on the top. Then you're going to grab the pink and hook it forward. Like that. So now you're just going to do that all the way up your loom and I will be right back. Okay, so when you're done hooking all the bands, your loom should look something like this. Then you're at the top of your loom. Sorry if you heard that again. You're just going to push back all the bands and then grab this band. Then hook it just to the side. Ooh, there we go. Oh, sorry if you see the white stuff again. And now you're just going to go in the bands. And I just like to pull it off from here. And then I put on the band, but if, I, if you know what I mean, like I do the extension type thingy. Oh, here it is. Oh, sorry if I just hit that. But let me make it easier by just pulling it like that. And um, putting the band on a pin and just taking it off. And now you're just going to hook all the bands. And now, um, you're almost done, so... Sorry, kind of a little bit quiet. But, here it is, and I think mine came out really pretty. I think it came out really nice, but um, I do recommend making it on two looms because it actually fit my wrist, almost. But, yeah, and here it is. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to make an extension now, but I'll make it later and post the picture on Instagram. So if you make this bracelet, please use the hashtag tropical looms with two L's or one, either one. You cannot use the hashtag arrow loomy because there's like no pictures on that one. No, I don't even think that's a real hashtag. But um, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I'm again, I'm super sorry for not uploading the loom tutorial. And just keep in touch on my Instagram because I am very active there. So anyways, thank you for watching this and I will see you in my next video. Bye!